just watching it. <laughs> if my video starts to break up, all right. All right, I'm going to try and mute my video and see if the audio would then get stronger. We're actually all in the in the meeting right now. <laughs> all right. So once again, if I start breaking up, if my audio starts breaking up, let me know and I'll mute video again. Okay. To say that it has been a strange year would be an understatement. In fact, because we lost the in-school senior last assembly, my original feeling was that we would not choose an educator of the year this year. Another colleague suggested that this year the award should go to the entire staff, from the administrators to the secretaries to the amazing lunch ladies who showed up each day to feed the children of our towns. We have all been asked to do something that we never anticipated doing without a roadmap for how to do it and during a worldwide crisis. We learned, and we improvised, and we adapted, and we, all of us, somehow kept education at DY alive during extreme circumstances. Am I still, is the video still strong? Okay. However, in the end, it was wisely decided that in the face of such abnormal circumstances, we should hold fast to normalcy wherever we can find it. For 36 years, we have a faculty have chosen one of our own to represent excellence in education at DY, and we do so again this year. It is my great honor to speak today about the Educator of the Year for 2020. Our Educator of the Year's positive influence reaches far beyond their own little corner of the building. In fact, not only did this educator receive multiple nominations for this award, those nominations were sent in from six separate departments. One colleague, when asked what, what this ed Educator of the Year does for the school, simply responded, what doesn't this person do? This person is always available to help, always, meaning at any moment, last minute, in the middle of class, on weekends, etc. She does not complain and does not seek recognition as she performs a multitude of extra tasks beyond her job description. Always a positive role model, she is a cheerleader for our school district who volunteers her time to assist whoever needs assisting. She connects to all students no matter the level they are at and is able to accommodate all learners. She pushes students above their comfort level to grow academically and as members of society. One colleague describes this person as someone who, quote, reaches kids that no one else seems to be able to. Her room has offered a home to students who otherwise just hadn't found a place to fit in at DY. She is an innovator in the classroom. Since arriving at DY, she has revitalized the technical arts. According to our guidance department, she is always willing to create and then recreate new classes as technologies and the needs of our student body change. In hopes to garner more attractive electives, this teacher created a class geared towards promoting all aspects of DY, whether it be sports, theater, or any type of entertainment. She has created lasting partnerships with community members and businesses to help support the Dennis Yarmouth Regional High School community, bringing in guest speakers and designing projects that support her discipline to real world applications. Additionally, she is an incredibly generous person. She makes sure that students in need do not go without, providing ties, shirts, dress shoes, and clothes are just some of the small miracles she performs for proms, formals, graduations, and award ceremonies. She finds money to help fund seniors who can't afford their senior activity fees. In other words, 
she gets that young adult into a cap and gown. One colleague said, she's like Mary Poppins. She's always got something in her bag of tricks. Sometimes it's a tablecloth, sometimes it's a problem-solving piece of technology, and sometimes it's just candy. <laughs> Another described her as a possibilities person who, when presented with tricky problems, sees possible answers and workarounds that no one else could. We saw one of these on display recently. When our seniors were cheated by circumstance, where are they? When our seniors were cheated by circumstance out of the usual senior celebrations, she had two sets of lawn signs printed for each kid and organized a parade. I will repeat that. She organized a parade in front of the school. Oh, this is right here. Okay. <laughs> On a personal note, I can tell you that people who work with technology are like me, a cantankerous bunch who are sometimes lacking in people skills and often just want to find a place to hide from the endless requests of fix this and solve that. This year's Educator of the Year is no scowling AV troll like me. Instead, she is known for her warm, kind, disarming, and welcoming smile. Said one colleague, I always have a thousand things for her to do for me, and she should run away from me every time she sees it, <laughs> sees me, but she doesn't. But she doesn't! <laughs> oh, let's hold on here. <laughs> I'm not done. I'm not done. You can come on down. <laughs> she seems to be able to do it all. She is a one-woman PR department for the school designing flyers and printing banners and signs. She is a class advisor, providing students with exciting and memorable experiences here at DY. She can chaperone a girl's STEM technology field trip, plan graduation, publish a yearbook, organize spirit week, and host fun events for students throughout the year. She is the grand hostess of senior week. She can solve random problems on the spot, make masks during a pandemic, and all the while, run a candy store. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it is with great pleasure that I present to you this year's Educator of the Year, Tamara Endich. Now you got to give a speech. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> wow, really wasn't expecting this. You guys are here. This is so great. Where am I looking? Um, I love my job and I love all you guys and I always say that if it wasn't for the people that I work with, you amazing people, that it wouldn't be as awesome as it is. And I love going to work every day and miss, miss it so much. Um, <laughs> didn't think I would. And then when I walked to this school to clean out my classroom, it was just very emotional. So thank you. And I guess there's no awkward hugs this year, which is cool. No. So <laughs> I got into that. Your mom's here. Mom's here. <laughs> I can hug mom. Um, thank you. This is this is really cool. Oh, and we have <laughs> we have flowers for you. This is for you and Ellie. Put the bubble over. Yeah. Oh. And we have the. This we ex we expect this to be. This has got to be on your lawn <laughs> all summer long. Thank you. I think that might be a new tradition. I think so. I like this. Yeah. Everything I've done, I'm like, oh no, like we're going to have to do this next year, like yeah. signs and no. parades. Awesome. Oh. Hi, Mom. Is, there any, is there anything else you want to say? I don't think so. Okay. Is there something I should say? No. <laughs> Does anyone have a tip? Uh, all right, Paul, I guess we bring it back to you. Yay! Yay! Yay.